All right, so today I'm gonna be changing out the uh, rock sliders on my wife's Jeep. This is a 2021 uh, Rubicon Unlimited. My wife bought it a few months ago and uh, it has the stock Ruby rails on it, Rubicon rails, and uh, she wants something with a step. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on these step sliders that I got off of Extreme Terrain. I'll put a link to it in the video. Uh, so first step is we got to remove the stock Ruby rails. All right, so to get started on this, um, we got to remove this bolt and then these little nuts. There's a few of those. There's three of these bolts holding the rail by those little nuts. And then there's one of these towards the front that's actually just the screw and it's screwed into the rail. So you've got to get in behind it and unscrew it so that it pops loose too. The bolts that are up against the body are 13 millimeter. So, and they're these aren't on super tight and really easy to, to break loose. They're, I don't have to use any any kind of lubricant or anything. Need a little more convincing. one and you'll see I've got my floor jack up underneath here and it's just just bumped up against the rail it's the rails not gonna fall out because it's actually held in by these um, but just in case you know I don't want any surprises once once everything's loose it's really easy to pop out but uh, I don't want I don't want anything to fall while I'm underneath here they're not super heavy either that's just a, a risk I'm not willing to take. These smaller ones are 10 millimeter. Um, so I've got a 10 millimeter socket and I've got a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet and box wrench that'll help me. I'm sorry, these are 11. Not, nope, these are 10. That'll help me uh, get these loose. Not a bad idea to wear eye protection when you're doing this, just so crap from the rust and dirt and whatever doesn't fall on your face. I'm, of course, not following that protocol very well. There we go. Now, once these are off, we're gonna end up having to take these off to mount the new rails. Those are, I think those are 18s. But first things first. Just making sure the dirt doesn't fall on my face. I'm not directly underneath. And then the last piece on taking these rails off is this one. This right here is just a, a bolt or a screw. I don't know if you can see it comes 
through the rocker panel but there's actually space in here you can get a get a wrench into and so I'm gonna get this in here and hopefully get it around there am I moving it the right way yeah I'm just breaking this in it's, I've got rocks falling out at me <laughs> that are stuck up in that there it goes in that rocker panel somebody really like I said, we just got this a few months ago, so somebody really beat the, beat the shit out of this. I'm gonna try this before. It's actually not beat up too bad, but there's definitely some rust and, and stuff on the bottom that needs to be taken care of. There we go. That little bolt just comes all the way out. Setting all this to the side for later for if we want to reinstall these or just sell them. All right, now that all that stuff is out, this should just, there it goes. Just slides right in. You can see those well, bolts are actually just, they're part of the rail itself, so they just slide right in through those holes in the rocker panel. These have three mount points like the other ones, except they're different mount points. They go on those bigger uh, bolts. So that's that one, this one, and then there's one all the way up here at the front. So. Those three bolts need to be removed. Directions are pretty good. There's a spacer I'm supposed to put in on the front. Let's see if I can crack these loose before I start with anything else. All right. And if this bad boy didn't work, we got off the impact wrench. Maybe just the breaker bar. Let's try the breaker bar first. Oh yeah, that's better. Left loose, right? I've read quite a bit about undoing these body mount bolts and I've heard nightmares about people breaking them off. I was lucky they all came out without any issue. And snap it. It'd be very bad. Well. Ear protection is probably a good idea too. Is 
not want to come loose yet. One of the things I forgot to do, or didn't realize was here, this is actually a washer. It's not attached, so you gotta pop that out. It just pops back into there. Because this needs to go into the mounting cup at the front of the new slider. So, there's a spacer. The spacer goes in here. The washer sits on top of that. And then there's new bolts, a little bit longer bolts that bolts in through the bottom of this. So now it says to use an assistant. Uh, my assistant's gonna be my jack to lift it up and put it in place. really just needs to pop in to where it's supposed to pop in. Hands tightening this one towards the back. Maybe get to a point where I feel like we're making some decent progress or something. play in there. That's okay. There it goes. All right.
caps off. Huh? What do you think? I mean, the real test is gonna be that'll hold my fat butt. So let's see how that looks, huh? Looks pretty good to me. Feels good. Onto the other side. I fully realize that this is a really easy upgrade. And seeing how this is a Rubicon and already came with a decent set of tires, and because this will probably never see an off-road trail, this will likely be the only change we make to the vehicle. Mm -hmm.